Media laws and ethics are sets of principles and regulations that guide the behavior and practices of media professionals and organizations. These laws and ethics serve as guidelines for responsible journalism, ensuring the protection of individual rights, accuracy in reporting, and maintaining the public's trust. Pakistan is a country located in South Asia, bordered by India to the east, Afghanistan and Iran to the west, and China to the north. It shares a maritime border with Oman. With a population of over 225 million people, Pakistan is the world's fifth most populous country. Pakistan gained independence from British colonial rule on August 14, 1947, as a result of the partition of British India. The country was established as an Islamic republic, with Islam as the state religion. The capital city is Islamabad, while the largest city is Karachi. Media of Pakistan Print Media Print media has a long history in Pakistan, with numerous newspapers and magazines serving as important sources of news and analysis. Some prominent English-language newspapers include Dawn, The News International, and The Express Tribune, while Urdu-language newspapers like Jang, Nawaiwakt, and Daily Pakistan have a wide readership. From Pakistan's independence in 1947 to the current year of 2023, the regulatory framework for print media in the country has evolved and seen several changes. Here are key events and laws related to print media in Pakistan during this period. The Pakistan Penal Code, 1860 The Pakistan Penal Code, 1860, is a general criminal law, which defines crimes offenses and punishments thereof. However, the code contains various provisions, which directly or indirectly affect free flow of information. The Telegraph Act, 1885 The Telegraph Act, 1885 is perhaps the oldest law in the country relating to communication and transmission of information. The act was designed to establish, operate and maintain telegraph in the country. The Post Office Act, 1898 Primarily, the Post Office Act, 1898 is designed to govern the Pakistan Post Office. However, the Act prohibits transmission by post of any indecent or obscene <laughs> printing, painting, photograph, lithograph, engraving, book or card or b. any postal article having any words, marks or the dot signs of an indecent, obscene, seditious, scurrilous, threatening or grossly offensive character. The Pakistan Broadcasting Corporation, PBC, in 1947, was established by the government of Pakistan. The PBC was the sole broadcaster in Pakistan and had a monopoly on the electronic media. The Constitution of Pakistan, adopted in 1956, provided for freedom of speech and expression as a fundamental right, which also applied to the print media. The Public Safety Act, 1949 is a law in Pakistan that gives the government broad powers to detain people without charge and to restrict freedom of movement and assembly. The law was passed in the aftermath of the partition of India in 1947, when there was widespread violence and unrest in the region. The law has been used by successive governments in Pakistan to suppress dissent and political opposition. The Security of Pakistan Act 1952 was a law passed by the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan on March 27, 1952. The law gave the government broad powers to detain people without charge and to restrict freedom of movement and assembly. The law was passed in response to the growing threat of communism in the region. The Security of Pakistan Act 1952 was repealed in 1962. However, many of its provisions were incorporated into the Pakistan Penal Code. The Press Commission of Pakistan was a commission set up by the government of Pakistan in 1954 to investigate the state of the press in the country. The commission was headed by Justice Muhammad Munir, a former Chief Justice of Pakistan. Working Journalist Act 1960 The Working Journalists, 
Conditions of Service, Ordinance, 1960 was an ordinance passed by the government of Pakistan in 1960. The ordinance was enacted to provide for the fixation of minimum wages, leave, provident fund, gratuity, hours of work, and other conditions of service for working journalists in Pakistan. The Wage Board Award 1960 is a government-mandated pay scale for journalists in Pakistan. It is set by a wage board, which is a commission appointed by the government to review the wages of journalists and make recommendations for their improvement. The first wage board was appointed in 1960. Since then, there have been seven wage boards, the most recent of which was appointed in 2001. The wage boards have made a number of recommendations for improving the wages of journalists, including increasing the minimum wage, providing for increments, and introducing a pension scheme. The Press and Publications Ordinance, PPO, of 1963 was enacted to regulate the print media industry. It introduced provisions related to registration, licensing, and censorship. 1973, the Newspaper Employees, Conditions of Service Act was passed by the Government of Pakistan. The Act established a provident fund for working journalists and provided for other conditions of service for working journalists. The Print Media Registration and Control Ordinance of 2002 underwent amendments and revisions over the years to adapt to changing media landscapes. The PCP was established by the Press Council Ordinance, 2002. The ordinance was promulgated by the President of Pakistan on May 26, 2002. The PCP is headed by a chairperson who is appointed by the President of Pakistan. The chairperson is assisted by a vice chairperson and a registrar. The press, newspaper, news agencies and books registration, PNNBR, ordinance, the press, newspaper, news agencies and books registration, PNNBR, ordinance, 2002 is a law in Pakistan that regulates the registration and publication of newspapers, news agencies, and books. The ordinance was promulgated on October 26, 2002, and replaced the West Pakistan Press and Publications Ordinance, 196. It's important to note that media laws and regulations can undergo further amendments and revisions, and their interpretation and implementation can vary. The print media landscape in Pakistan has seen significant growth and diversification, with numerous newspapers and publications covering a wide range of topics and catering to different audiences. Electronic Media Television is the most influential medium in Pakistan, reaching a large segment of the population. Pakistan Television, PTV was the first national television network established in the country, and it remains a significant player. However, with the introduction of private television channels in the early 2000s, the media landscape expanded significantly. Geo News, ARY News, and Sama TV are among the popular news channels, offering 24-hour news coverage. Radio also plays a vital role in Pakistani media, particularly in rural areas where television coverage may be limited. The state-run Pakistan Broadcasting Corporation, PBC, operates several radio channels, including FM 101 and FM 93, which offer news, entertainment, and music. Private radio stations have also emerged, contributing to a diverse radio broadcasting environment. From the period of Pakistan's independence in 1947 to the establishment of the Pakistan Electronic Media Regulatory Authority, PEMRA, in 2002, the regulatory framework for electronic media in the country was not as well defined as it is today. During this time, media laws in Pakistan primarily focused on print media, and electronic media was relatively limited in scope. However, some notable developments occurred during this period. Here are key events related to media laws and electronic media in Pakistan from 1947 to 2023. 1994, the PEMRA Ordinance was passed by the Government of Pakistan. The ordinance established the Pakistan Electronic Media Regulatory Authority, PEMRA, and gave it the power to regulate the electronic media. 
The Pakistan Telecommunication Reorganization Act, 1996 commonly known as Telecom Act, the Pakistan Telecommunication Reorganization Act, 1996 aims to reorganize telecommunication system in Pakistan. The Act provides for the establishment of various telecom-related institutions such as the Pakistan Telecommunication Authority, PDA, Frequency Allocation Board, FAB, and National Telecommunication Corporation, NTC. The Act further provides for the regulation of telecommunication industry and transfer of telecommunication services to private sector. Before establishment of the PEMRA, the PDA was issuing licenses to cable operators in the country. The definition of the telecommunication system, as given below, includes a cable transmission system, a cable television transmission system and terminal equipment. In 2000, the government established a committee to propose regulations for the emerging private electronic media in Pakistan. As a result, establishment of the Pakistan Electronic Media Regulatory Authority, PEMRA, ordinance was promulgated in 2002, establishing PEMRA as the regulatory authority for electronic media. PEMRA was tasked with granting licenses, ensuring content standards, and regulating the broadcast industry in Pakistan. The Defamation Ordinance, 2002, this law makes it a crime to publish defamatory material, and it has been used to silence critics of the government. 2002, the Electronic Media, Programs and Advertisements, Code of Conduct was issued by PEMRA. The Code of Conduct prohibited the broadcast of content that was blasphemous, defamatory, or that promoted violence. 2007, the PEMRA Amendment Ordinance was passed by the Government of Pakistan. The ordinance gave PEMRA more powers to regulate the electronic media, including the power to ban channels and to fine broadcasters. 2010, the PEMRA Amendment Act was passed by the Government of Pakistan. The act made it a crime to broadcast content that was blasphemous, defamatory, or that promoted violence. The Pakistan Broadcasting Corporation, PBC, Act 2012 is enacted, which establishes the Pakistan Broadcasting Corporation as the state-run radio broadcasting organization. The Protection of Pakistan Ordinance 2013 is introduced, raising concerns about potential curbs on media freedom due to provisions that allow for the restriction of information related to counterterrorism operations. 2016, the PEMRA Amendment Act was passed by the Government of Pakistan. The Act made it a crime to broadcast content that was obscene or that promoted hate speech. The Right to Information Act, RTI, 2017 was promulgated in Pakistan in 2017. The Act gives citizens the right to access information held by public bodies, including government departments, semi-government organizations, and autonomous bodies. The Act also establishes the Pakistan Information Commission, PIC, to oversee the implementation of the Act. The Prevention of Electronic Crimes Act, PECA, 2018 is enacted to address cybercrime, including offenses related to electronic communication, data protection, and online harassment. The Pakistan Media Development Authority, PMDA, Ordinance 2019 is proposed, aiming to establish a centralized regulatory body for all types of media, including electronic media. The proposed ordinance receives criticism for potential implications on media freedom and independence. 2020, the PEMRA Amendment Act was passed by the Government of Pakistan. The Act made it a crime to broadcast content that was false or misleading. 2023, the PEMRA Amendment Act was passed by the Government of Pakistan. The Act made it a crime to broadcast content that was disrespectful to the armed forces or to the judiciary. It's important to note that media laws and regulations can undergo amendments and revisions, and their implementation and interpretation can vary. The evolution of media laws and ethics in Pakistan reflects ongoing efforts to strike a balance between media freedom, responsible journalism, and public interest while addressing concerns related to misinformation, ethical practices, and media accountability. Digital Media in recent years, digital media and online platforms have gained prominence in Pakistan. The country has a significant number of Internet users, 
and social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube have become popular sources of news and information. Many news organizations and journalists have embraced digital platforms to reach a wider audience and engage with readers and viewers directly. Digital media laws in Pakistan have evolved and adapted to the emergence and growth of the digital landscape. However, it's important to note that the regulatory framework specifically targeting digital media has primarily developed in more recent years. Here are key events and laws related to digital media in Pakistan from 1947 to 2023. The Pakistan Telecommunication Reorganization Act of 1996 laid the foundation for regulating telecommunications, which eventually encompassed digital media. The Electronic Transactions Ordinance 2002 introduced legal recognition for electronic transactions and electronic documents. The Prevention of Electronic Crimes Act PECA, was proposed to address cybercrime-related issues in Pakistan, including offenses such as unauthorized access to computer systems, cyberterrorism, and online harassment. The proposed bill aimed to provide a legal framework to combat cybercrime and protect individuals and organizations in the digital realm. The Cybercrime Act in Pakistan is formally known as the Prevention of Electronic Crimes Act, 2016, PECA. PECA is the primary legislation in Pakistan that addresses cybercrimes and electronic offenses. It was enacted to combat various forms of cybercrime and to provide legal frameworks for their prevention, investigation, and prosecution. The Pakistan Telecommunication Authority, PDA, introduced the Citizens' Protection Against Online Harm Rules 2020. The rules outlined obligations for social media companies, including the requirement to establish a physical presence in Pakistan, appoint a local representative, and comply with content removal requests. The government proposed the Pakistan Media Development Authority PMDA, ordinance, seeking to establish a centralized regulatory body for all types of media, including digital media. The proposed ordinance faced opposition from media organizations, journalists, and civil society, leading to protests and concerns about its potential impact on media freedom and independence. It's important to note that the regulation of digital media in Pakistan is an ongoing process, and laws and regulations can evolve and be subject to amendments. The digital media landscape continues to develop, and efforts are being made to strike a balance between regulation, protection of individuals' rights, and freedom of expression in the digital realm.